Hey guys, I'm LB, we are back playing Cube. And, uh, last episode we got stuck here. I thought of an idea, I like how this launches me really close to getting in there, and I thought... What if I could use the cube to, like, stop me in midair or something? Is that even in the realm of possibility? Nope, it is not. Alright. Well, so much for that. Definitely got something to do with these, but I'm not entirely sure what. So... If we do... This, right? What if we put the cube there? Would that be high enough to stop me? Apparently not. But that is really close. Like, really close. I feel like this is what I would need to do at the end. What happens if I try rotating this? Not much. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to rotate it that way. I want to go this way. Like that. Nope, that's definitely not gonna ever work in a million years. That feels really close, though. Physics. How do they work? Apparently they don't in this game. That shit's totally fallen off. Like, that is... more than halfway off the edge. Still not entirely sure. Because I feel like this is the only way I can get up, right? This is the only thing even remotely resembling being on the floor. And I can't get a cube or anything to drop down onto here. But it just launches me over. And I can't do anything while I'm in the air. Do I hit this high? I do! Well, there's my problem. I figured it out, guys. I figured it out. Here we go. There we go! Why didn't I do that before? Okay, now the challenge... Maybe I should've had these the other way around. Let's get these the other way around. Come on, give me the yellow there. Maybe I can hit that. Yeah, there we go. And then I can change it to green. Yep, alright. So now, let's get green. Ta-da! There we go. Wow. Can't believe I didn't think of that sooner. That was actually an okay puzzle. I like that one. More trippy hallways. This time it's actually moving and not just spiraling. Gotta admit, it looks really cool. Yeah, 
Interesting. Why is there a big glass breaking here? Sounds like something bad happened here. Also, what is the deal with these little stains or whatever only being visible from a distance? That doesn't... that doesn't make much sense to me, really. You can only see them at certain angles, which is really strange. So I can access those from... through the glass. Well, I think we learned that a long time ago, and I just forgot. So the idea... probably... will be to break the glass, I guess? Okay, that should work, right? Now I can push this... onto there, and then if the yellow doesn't work... then we'll try the blue. Oh, but... hmm. It's not aligned for the blue, is it? Because it's always gonna put it in the center no matter what I do. Yeah, hmm. Doesn't that feel like that's what I'm supposed to do? What happens if I use pink on the floor? Okay, that- that was not- that was not what I expected that to do. And by the luck of weird physics, we have done it. Or not. Nope. Apparently not. Why did it land weirdly? Don't... why? Why? Just put it... What is up with that? Game! Why you gotta be like this game? Okay, tell you what, let's just- let's just rotate this. Cause we've got... I think this is in position right here, yeah. This is like right underneath the... thing. Oh, that's a good point. I didn't even think of that. Let's try it this way. This should get it center aligned. Yeah, there we go! Now we just use yellow. Yeah! There we go. Achievement unlocked physics. Yes. <laughs> the thing I hate the most about this game helped us solve the puzzle. Oh my gosh, let me up on here, please. Oh my goodness! Please! Thank you. And we can't make that jump anyway. Alright, onward we go. To story and beyond. I'm running out of power. If you don't believe me now, this may be your last chance. She's lying. That's how people lie. With lots of little details, they tell you about a date, a time, a name. It makes it seem real, but it's not real. Christ! We're probably in the same goddamn box. I'm going to bang on the wall. 
Listen. I don't know if you can hear me banging, but you have to believe what I'm saying. I... Wait. Oh my god. The name they told you, Jonathan Burns. It's not a name, it's a threat. You're Jonathan, and they're going to burn you. Jesus Christ, they're going to make you walk right into the incinerator. How does he know my name is Jonathan? I'm losing signal. Don't listen to her. That kind of broke my trust in him. Like, how would he know my name is Jonathan? That that doesn't make any sense at all. Unless he heard their transmission. Did they did they tell me my name? I don't remember. I have amnesia, guys. Not not for real, but in the game. Oh my goodness. This is Oh goodness, this- whatever is happening right now is doing absolute oh horrible things to my frame rate. You need to get out of there right now! The whole thing is coming- whole thing is coming apart. There's an escape shuttle dead ahead. Get in and go! No, it's not a shuttle. It's a coffin. And they want you to launch yourself into the incinerator. You knew- Oh, I didn't even- whoops. I was gonna listen Keep to the going. rest of his dialogue. Interesting story. Like, I don't know, it's really weird to me. It doesn't make very much sense. Because I, I knew from watching the playthrough this a long time ago, I knew that we were going to get to see Earth at the ending. So the story was just making less and less sense as we went on. Like, how would he... Would, why would he claim my name was Jonathan, unless he was lying? And why would he talk about amnesia unless he was, like, listening into the transmissions and stuff? It's not clear how much that other guy heard. So. That was Cube. I have to admit, I'm a little bit disappointed. I didn't really feel like the puzzles got you know, 
to the the way that I wanted them to be. I don't know, it's hard to explain. Like, they, they felt like just trial and error. Especially... Especially at the end, when you just have the combinations of things that you can do, it just feels a lot like trial and error. And that one puzzle, the one that said it was the hardest, that, that was just frustrating because of the physics. Like, if it hadn't been for the physics, it would have been an okay puzzle. I would have enjoyed it. But the physics, that just really messed with my head. I don't understand why people feel the need to put physics in everything. Stop putting physics, guys! Physics on stuff moving through the air is fine, but when it's on the ground, just let it slide. Let it be frictionless or something. I don't need stuff to, like, rotate realistically or anything like that. You can do that as eye candy, but when it comes to actually having game elements do that, that is really annoying. And the ball rolling puzzles, the, the way they were designed seemed entirely to counteract the physics of the game. Like, the ball puzzles were specifically designed to work around the poor physics. This game did have some good puzzles. I, I did like a couple of those puzzles at the end there, but it just- it still felt like trial and error, not like actually puzzle solving. I don't know. This- I have mixed feelings about this game. So, as for what games to play next, I have a list of games that I've been meaning to play, and not all of them are puzzle games. For Duskers, I've, I've been debating whether to make that, like, a weekly stream series where I just- I just do a stream on weekends or something. Might have already happened, I don't know. Like, might be after I record this I might decide to just go ahead and do it, but... I don't know. Talk to me, tell me- tell me what you guys want to do, vote in the poll. I'm gonna put a poll on this video. If, uh, if you click on the I, the circle I on the corner of the screen, then you can vote in the poll. And just pick an option, tell me what game you want me to play next, or what you want me to do. There might be two polls, I don't know. You'll figure it out. Thank you all so much for watching!